All right, next question. Someone came up to me. Uh, I was walking on the street, uh, a loyal listener of the podcast, and they asked about Johnny Menzel. We got into a conversation, and he goes, is the CFL a possibility for Johnny Menzel? This is a hypothetical. Well, I mean, I don't see why not. I mean, to me, to me, no league should be a possibility for Johnny Menzel right now. At this now. point, yeah, yeah. The CFL, the NFL, the AFL, the Toilet Bowl FL, like, I mean, there should be, even Pop Warner shouldn't be a possibility. No league should even, even for him to coach, nobody should, no even parents should let their him coach their kids Saturday morning football minor league athletic association game. This guy should not be around football until he decides to go yeah t- until he decides to go to rehab and fix these deep demons as Skip Bayless calls them these demons that his personal demons that he's battling because they are big. Yeah. And last week his father released a statement saying that he just wants someone to help Johnny because if he doesn't get help, he feels that he won't live to see his 24th birthday. Yeah. So that is very serious. That's telling. I mean, when you're old, this is coming from a parent. parent yeah. That if someone can just reach him, at, I mean, to me, they should. To me, he should be. Somebody should come to his house and say, "Oh, do you want to go out for something?" And then just drag him, force. Him. <laughs> they say, do you want to go for a burger? Go for a meal? Just take him to rehab. Four guys have like. Four or five guys from backup and get that guy in rehab because he really needs some serious help. The CFL is even more of a passing league than the NFL is. And I feel that he, him, and just even understanding the nuances of a play of the playbook has been an issue this first two years. His commitment to mastering the offense, knowing the nuances, the in and outs of how a system runs and how it's supposed to work, he is not at that position yet. And I feel that. Just even from a football technical understanding and expert standpoint, he's not there. Not even to talk of his personal issues. Yeah. So there's just layers, there's levels to this yeah. as it goes with Johnny Mandel. And I feel that until he corrects these deficiencies and problems that he has in his personal life, football should not even be a discussion for him right now. Yeah, I like I was about to say, I don't see why not. The problem is he's got all these things going on is like... That I don't think he should be. Right. In I mean, he's. But, I mean, when Ricky Williams, I remember. I mean, we've seen this happen. Chad Josinko. When guys, Williams. when guys are, are uh, but these are guys, personal, those are, having right. personal problems. But I, but, to see if but these were, problems. yeah, these were nothing compared to what Manziel is going through right now. And these are guys that were proven superstars in the league, who are the best at their position or in Josinko's case, one of the best. But Ricky Williams was the best at that position. Mm-hmm. For a, a good number of years. You know the sad thing is he goes to the Argos and they end up having a losing season that yeah. first year. Which was weird. Yeah. But it is what it is. But he came back and regained his form. Oh, which, of course. Which is good. Yeah, we digress. But um yeah, Johnny Manziel has no, he's just no, no football right now. No football yeah, just like honestly, I feel like take a year, take two years, go to rehab, get your life together, come back. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're still young. You're only 22. You still, have, you'll still be in well in your prime, especially as a quarterback. You'll still have many over a decade to play football. So just, yeah, just fix fix your issues.